This is the impact of nitrous oxide on vitamin B12. Nitrous oxide irreversibly inactivates vitamin B12 through oxidation of cobalt. It converts vitamin B12 from an active to an inactive state. It disrupts methionine formation through homocysteine methylation, and it impairs DNA synthesis and repair. This causes an acute increase in plasma homocysteine levels. There are some patient groups that are at high risk. Patients with B12 deficiency due to terminal ileum resection, pernicious anemia, dietary restrictions like being vegan, and protein-restrictive diets like phenylketonuria. There are patients with methionine synthesis deficiencies. They may show megaloblastic changes, growth retardation, psychomotor retardation, or neurologic problems. So all of these people would be at specifically high risk for vitamin B12 deficiency, and you might want to avoid nitrous oxide in them if possible. Even short exposure can cause complications in B12 deficient patients, and they can have neurologic and hematologic effects that are delayed for weeks before they present. This can lead to conditions similar to megaloblastic anemia from the B12 deficiency.